Now it's that time of the year again when we see all the running brands releasing updates to existing shoes or bringing out completely new models. And in fact, we've just tested out Innovate's latest trail running shoe to their lineup, the Mud Talon Speed. We took it out for its first run, so I'll leave a link in the description below for that video in case you want to check it out. But because there's lots of new shoes hitting the shelves, it also means it's a time of year where you can grab yourself a running shoe bargain. So the last two days, I've dived headfirst into the old interweb to see what awesome shoes I could find. And in today's video, we're gonna show you all the great deals that I've discovered. Welcome back folks, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So we're gonna get straight into the video because we've got quite a few shoes to look at. I picked out a good mixture of trail and road, so there should be something there for everyone. The first shoe we're gonna look at is a very popular daily trainer from Brooks Running and it is their Glycerin 20. The Glycerin was always a very popular running shoe when I worked in running retail, especially with guys new to running. So this version, the Glycerin 20, comes with a, a deeply cushioned nitrogen infused DNA loft V3 midsole, a super plush engineered mesh upper, a 10 mil heel offset, and it tips the scales at 283 grams. Now this shoe would normally retail for 165 pounds here in the UK, but I managed to find them for only 79.99 on Sports Pursuits. So that is a massive 52% saving off RRP. Now I really do think the Glycerin 20 makes a great first time neutral daily trainer, or it's really good as that workhorse in your shoe rotation. And at that price, it really is a great deal. Next up, we are hitting the trails, and if you've been following the channel, you'll know that this is one of my favorite trail running shoes of all time. And it actually took top spot in our running shoes of 2023 video. So it is Merrill's Agility Peak 5. I've actually got a couple of pairs in rotation at the moment. So the original pair, my first pair is clocked up well over 400 miles and it is still going strong. But I have just picked up a new pair that I'm currently bedding in. But to be honest, they don't really take a lot of bedding in because they run super comfy straight out the box. The midsole comes with a stack height of 31 mil at the heel and 25 mil under your forefoot, giving you a six mil heel offset. Weight-wise, they weigh in at 308 grams in a UK 9.5. I would say they fit true to size with sort of average width in that toe box, and they retail in the UK for 140 pounds, which I actually think is a pretty good price to pay for this shoe anyway. But I managed to find them for the bargain price of 99 pounds at Master Shoe, so a big saving of 40 pounds. And I personally think that is a great price to pay for a very versatile, grippy, comfortable trail running shoe. Back to the roads, and in particular, it is carbon plated road racing shoes. Now, if you've always fancied trying a carbon plated running shoe, whether it be for race day or those quicker sessions throughout the week, but you've always been put off by the crazy, crazy prices, then maybe these shoes are the shoes for you. So the first one we're gonna look at is a very popular shoe from Nike, it is their Vaporfly Next Percent 2. So like I said, very popular race day shoe or marathon day shoe. We are currently on version three of the Vaporfly, so we're seeing some pretty good deals when it comes to the previous model. And I was actually really surprised to find these on the old interweb for £112.25p at Sports Pursuits. You know, a crazy price for a really popular race day or marathon day shoe. And actually that's half price of the original RRP, so a massive saving indeed. I've actually got the Vaporfly 2s and the 3s, but I've got to say it, I think I do prefer the feel of the 2s. However, I definitely prefer the color way on the 3s. I love this pink and orange, super bright running shoe. And I think race day shoes should be bright. But I think the 2s is probably the best carbon plated race day shoe that I've ever used. And the fact that you can now pick them up online for only £112.25p is a complete bargain. However, I have found something even cheaper than that. So Reebok's Float Ride Energy X is a, another running shoe that's designed for race day. It's got that carbon plate worked into the midsole to give you that little bit of extra propulsion along the way to help you make it to that finish line. Uh, you can now actually pick them up for only $89.99 at Start Fitness UK. So that is a massive 50 pound saving. And I personally think 
That is a great price to pay for that carbon plated go faster running shoe. Another trail shoe this time round, and again, it's actually one of my favorite trail running shoes of all time. And it's actually featured in one of our bargain running shoe videos before, but I've found them even cheaper this time round. So it is the brilliant original Exodus Ultra from Saucony. Now, I have had some good miles in this shoe and it's helped me through some tough times, what with taking them straight out of the box and running 80 miles in Dura 24 and having no foot issues at all. But they also helped me get to the finish line of the super challenging TDS at UTMB. So I really have got some fond running memories in this shoe. It comes with that great dual compound midsole setup that is very comfortable over any terrain, even long sections of tarmac, no problem. Uh, we've got a 32.5 mil stack height at the heel and 26.5 under your forefoot, giving you a six mil heel offset. If I flip them over, you can see we've got this three-piece outsole design. So a good rock plate worked in under your forefoot, offering you a nice level of underfoot protection. And we got Saucony's Power Track Rubber with a 4.5 mil lug depth. Now, the original Exodus Ultra has been around for some time, so we've been seeing some good deals online for a while. However, I was really shocked when I saw these for only $48.99 on Get The Label. I mean, that is almost a hundred pounds off the original RRP. Uh, you know, $48.99 for a pair of Exodus Ultras is just crazy value. Now, when I filmed this video, there was limited sizes. So they still had a good size, but there wasn't a full size run. So if you did want to grab a pair of the Exodus Ultras at that crazy price point, then I think you're going to have to be quick because they're not going to last for long. Moving on, we've got two very popular neutral daily trainers up next, one from ASICS and one from the Nike brand. So we've got the Nova Blast 3 from ASICS, a super soft, deeply cushioned road running shoe. And I managed to find them online for only 78 pounds at runnerin.com and that is a 39 percent saving off the original retail price uh, the other one is nike's super popular pegasus 40 and i managed to find them in the pretty cool elliot kipchoge colorway and they were 50 percent off at sports pursuits making them only 65 pounds and that is two great value neutral daily trainers and last but not least when it comes to our bargain shoes of 2024 we are going back to the trails and back to brooks running and it is their catamount 2. So this is a relatively lightweight trail running shoe weighing in at 274 grams in a US 9. It comes with a DNA flash midsole with a 6mm heel offset and you also get the Brooks Skyvolt propulsion plate worked into the construction for a bit of added propulsion and a bit more underfoot protection when you're running on rocky trails. It's not got the deepest lug depth on the outsole so I would say this is more of a sort of spring summer autumn trail offering but you do get the steep sticky traction trail track rubber from Brooks that's going to offer you good levels of grip on wet or dry surfaces. Now the Catamount 2 would normally retail for a pretty expensive £160 here in the UK but I managed to find them again at Sports Pursuits for the crazy price of only £79.99 so that is a massive 50% saving. So there you have it folks, a great selection of affordable running shoes and you can see as I work through them Four of those shoes actually came from the Sports Pursuits website. Now, if you haven't paid those guys a visit, it's definitely worth going and checking out because not only do they do great deals on running shoes and running kit, but also hiking gear, camping kit, cycling stuff, and lots more. Now, this isn't a paid promotion. They're not paying me to say this. It's just, I've saved a lot of money there over the years. So it's definitely a good website to go and visit if you want to save yourself some money. That's a wrap on today's video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Really hope you found it helpful. Don't forget, if you did, to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, it really is a big help to the channel and will be greatly appreciated. We've got some great content planned for the coming weeks, including an epic arc of attrition race day video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. We'll be back here very soon. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Back to the roads. And in particular, it is carbon plated race day road, ra road. <laughs> However, I have found something a little bit cheaper. So it is a Reebok Float Pro Energy there. If I flip them over, you can see we've got this three piece outsole design. Uh, we've got a rock plate uh, that offers that. <laughs>